I drew this light bulb in Photoshop, hand painted, digital art. I don't do realism a lot, but I think this turned out pretty cool. So I fed this into Mid Journey, and then I said light bulb, digital art, show me what you got. And I gotta say, it not only matched my style and aesthetic, it also did it better. <laughs> so AI point score for that one. Like this, this is pretty cool. It kind of makes me want to try it, draw it again. But in any case, there's my, there's it down in the corner there. That's what I did. I image and then what I wrote, aspect ratio, image weight. So I wanted to, the image weight two, you can do zero to two. Well, I've never done zero. You can do one to two. I know that. Maybe it's just that. To say how closely you want it to be like your original image that you input. And so in this video, we're going to challenge it, see how close it can do to what I do and if it can do it better. Um, some rules of thumb are if it doesn't follow my style good enough, it loses. So it's got to follow my style and then it's got to look cooler. Like if I genuinely like it better, that's okay. I'm, I'm willing to be an impartial judge. At least I'll do my best. Uh, I think there are a couple other ground rules, but I have forgotten them. So if I remember, I'll let you know. Well, let's see. There's the comparison. Mine on the left, mid journey on the right. And yeah, it's like cool. Okay, Lava Owl. I was trying some new textures out. Uh, this was in 2021. I like this, but when I put it into Mid Journey, what I like about this, <laughs> okay, I can just, I gotta say already, this one goes to Mid Journey. Forward zero, Mid Journey two, but don't worry. I think I, I think I have a chance here. Um, the textures maybe are a little bit better, but it's got more contrast, uh, you know, the darks and the lights and uh, a little bit cooler composition, uh, but it kept the same style and it kept the same composition. Just, just I just think it plussed it a little bit. So that's cool. Point to mid journey. Moray Eel, no story for that, except for that I drew it while watching another YouTuber draw the same thing live. So I just copied him, but I, you know, it was a good practice. All right, mid journey. You know, the thing here is that it didn't, it, it changed the composition a little bit. I didn't silence my phone. That's embarrassing for me. Um, and also about it, while well, I silence my phone, is that it looks like it just stopped trying in the body. The head looks really good, but the body lacks details. In this case, I feel like mine, you know, um, is tied together a little better. So I'm going to give the point to me on this one. Yep. Yep. Like I said, impartial judge. Okay. Ford 2, Ford 1, Mid Journey 2. I was proud of this. This was going to be a freelance project for somebody who wanted a sticker, which they then ghosted me, but that's okay. I had fun drawing it. And look at the shading on that. Ah, the texture. I don't know. Pretty cool. <sighs> cooler. Hands down cooler. <laughs> it definitely plussed my style a little bit. So it's almost breaking the rules because it just is better. <laughs> But it still, it follows so many of the other rules. Like it looks the same thing, same format, you know, as, as the outline, the green background. So it followed my prompts pretty good. It's a rock monster, digital art. You can see that in the corner there. I would say point to mid journey. It did pretty good. Three to one so far. Let's see if I stand a chance. Okay. It's just some friendly competition, you know. I'm not saying mid journey is better because mid journey has no soul. <laughs> And, uh, and artists, the art is about enjoying the process, really. So there's my little little tidbit for you. Okay. Oh, sorry. There's the comparison. <sighs> it's is cooler, but I gave the point. You know, this one was a close one. This one was a close one, but Mid Journey wins. Okay, boo. Aha, here's where I win, because guess what happens when I put this in the Mid Journey? It won't do it. It's copyrighted or something. I don't know. I've had it do copyrighted things before, such as Mickey Mouse. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. Um, but this one it doesn't want to do so it fails the prompt because it didn't it didn't do what it's supposed to do It drew something else. I like get a ghost sure, but no not good enough. It's not a so it doesn't look the same Okay, then I thought wait a minute. Maybe I need to tweak stylize Dash dash s or dash dash stylize can change how fancy you want it to be. So I put in stylize mm, Raw oh we'll get to that tip later I did style raw, um, which I do sometimes. It's just something to tweak. Usually that makes it follow your prompt a little bit better, but my prompt's short anyway. 
Anyway, I just want to give it another shot. Oh, the difference is this is version 6, the other one was version 5.2. So I thought maybe the new version could do it better. And it did copy, you know, like the background better, the gray uh, or the brownish stuff. Point goes to the human this time. Yay! Good job, Fort. That puts us to three, two to three. Okay, Bigfoot. I really like this drawing so much that I made it into a sticker. I, I enjoyed drawing this one. Okay, is that a cool picture by Ben Journey? Yes, yes it is. This is where I learned a new tip. I realized, oh, it's too fancy. See mine's, it's a little bit simpler. It's still good, just different style. This one has more texture, detail, tones, whatever you wanna call it. So that's where you use the stylized feature. I said, okay, let's only stylize at 20. And now it's kind of matching a little bit better my style. Who wins this one? It's hard to say. I'm gonna say me, because it didn't follow the prompt until I told it stylized 20, which is just kind of good prompting. You have to know if that's what you want, you have to do that. I don't know, what do you think? Is this one, like just impartial judging. If you didn't know this was AI, just some, some artist did this one and the mind on the left there. Which one's cooler? I mean, I like this one, but I think I can un unbiasedly say mine's better actually. I'm gonna do that. Call me so bold. Ford wins the Bigfoot. <laughs> All right, I think this is for an NFT that my brother asked me to paint. There's me, there's Mid Journey. Now, again, I didn't change the stylized feature, but it's kind of interesting. I do think the result's interesting. If it kept the composition, I'm, I'm gonna say Mid Journey's is better. It has, it has better, you know, depth, details, I kind of like it, so kudos to you. Mid journey, four points, forward three points. This is a close race. I, I must say I'm surprised. Okay, this next one is my shipwreck painting compared to mid journeys. Again, I did image weight too. I wanted it to follow my, my example as good as possible. Shipwreck, digital art, aspect ratio, three by two. And I like it's better in some regards, like the water in some areas is kind of maybe a little more lifelike. Uh, however, you can't really tell that's a shipwreck. Hard to see, you, got, you know, you, if, as an artist, if it's gonna be a shipwreck, you gotta let the, the, the viewer know that it's a ship. That is a pile of wood. So I'm gonna have to say, boo, for mid journey. <laughs> Yay, for Ford. That puts me at, this is four to four. <gasps> I'm trying to be unbiased. I didn't know this was going to be so close. Okay, who's going to win? I'm excited to find out. Kulkulkan. Really cool drawing. I took some time. I did the details. Put that in a mid-journey. Said, hey, give me Kulkulkan. And it gave me this. Kukukun. <laughs> which is Kulkulkan's cousin, twice removed, apparently. I mean, it looks a little bit different. So I saw, then I thought, okay, let's bring the stylization down a little bit. And I got vindicated or validated, I don't know, because still, it can't draw cool, cool can. I can't beat that AI. Okay, sorry, I got, I, got a little, I got a little feisty there, but I think it's obvious. I won because I, again, actually drew what it's supposed to look like. Whereas it doesn't know how to draw it, the cool, cool can from Mid Journey. Like it looks kind of like Mayan art a little bit, but no, it's not, it's not quite there. So there we go. Okay, AMC Ape holding its popcorn and drink. I had fun drawing this too. It's a good one. <laughs> okay, this is a joke. Because I put this in here because I see I wanted to see what it would do if I didn't give it a reference image. But I put Ape holding popcorn, digital art. Oh, I don't know why it says image weight. I didn't do image weight because there's no image. I didn't give it the reference. And yeah, okay, it did that. That's kind of a cool picture, but it's not fair because it's a different style. So we gotta get real. I gave it the reference image. This is what we're trying to draw. Gotta follow the style and everything. And you know what? Not as good. I'm just gonna say it right off the gate. It, the popcorn looks kind of weird. It's not holding a soda. And if you look closely at the details, uh, they, it, it's pretty obviously computer generated. Well, that, I mean, in my opinion, it's close, but uh, I think I win again, six to four. You agree with me, right? I'm not being a biased judge. I think mine's better. <laughs> Don't let it go in my head. Okay. My astronomy stargazing 
constellation artwork. Put it in a mid journey, and then again, I realized wait, stylize 20 because apparently forward draws at a. Okay, you, you should know the standard is 100, but the max is 1000. And I have to bring mid journey down to 20 stylization level to get up my level. Doesn't mean it's better than me, but actually, it's, it is better than me. It was trained off the world, so let's be honest. I can't compete, but I can compete because, again, the soul, the heart, and soul. Okay, so once I brought the stylization down, I digress. Oh, okay. Then it was closer to what mine looked like, and it's even like in the same, oh, you can't see it there, but like a similar pose. So I was impressed with this one. Granted, the, the constellation is missing. You can see the stars in the middle there, which it, I'm surprised it's not missing. I'm surprised it's, I'm not surprised it's missing that. Uh, pretty good result. But we're going to go with the original because I arbitrarily said so. And that means mine's better. It's more accurate. That's the main reason. And I like, I like my style for this better, you know? What can I say? I think, I think it works good. Okay, moving along. Oh, <laughs> embarrassing. That was the end of it. That was the end of it. Seven to four. I won. I beat the algorithm. Okay, cool. Well, that was fun, a little experiment. So some, some takeaways. If you want Midjourney to follow, if you can prompt Midjourney with images. You put the image in there and um, then also usually give it a prompt and you can do the aspect ratio. Image weight, I, I think I tried 1.5 on some of them, but um, in this cases, it didn't really improve anything. Changing the stylization does. And uh, then there's the things where you know it can do a lot better because it just, or more realistic, right? Like when it comes down to it, uh, okay? This I could, you know, hands down, I can't do this. But uh, that's okay because there are things I can do. And that's the lesson for today. Maybe, I don't know, was there a lesson in there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It's been fun. And remember to keep doing art things that you enjoy. Have a nice day and remember to smile.